Hello everyone and welcome to the Garden Innovation Series. In this series, we feature gardeners in Singapore who share a passion for plants. In today's episode, we are visiting a Community in Bloom Platinum Award Garden. So let's head on in and meet our friend Janora. Hello! Welcome to APSN Delta Senior School, the home of the Delton. Hi Janora, thanks for having us here today. Wow, that's a gorgeous paludarium behind you. Can you tell me more about it? Sure! The paludarium consists of both the aquatic and terrestrial features. As the stream flows through the different areas, we can see different plant types. Terrestrials, epiphyte, riverine and aquatic plants thriving in their respective habitats. To make it unique to our school, we also place some figurines of our students within the display that symbolise the different stages in their APSN journey. Oh, that's cool! So apart from this, I also heard that you have a very special garden that you manage to get with your students. I can't wait to meet them and find out all about it. That's right, the paddlerary is just a teaser. Come, join me to our sensory gardens to meet our students and their trainers. Oh, wow, this is such a lovely garden! So how did all of this get started? The sensory garden was created shortly after we shifted into this new campus in Chachukang. As we are a vocational school offering horticulture as one of the domain, we thought we needed to have a garden for our students to have their hands work on, gain experience and be more ready when they enter the working world. This idea then became our very first garden. Perhaps you could share with us whether there are any special considerations behind the design as well as the planning of the garden? Some special needs students have sensory challenges. With that in mind, we have integrated sensory into the overall design of this garden, one of which is a pebble flooring. Come, let's try on it. Oh wow, I can see it beneath my feet, even with shoes on. That's right, we also wanted our students to learn in the garden and be inspired by the plants and the different elements found in this garden. That's when we decided to design the different section of the gardens with reference to the life cycle of a butterfly. Oh, why a butterfly? We told our students that their learning journey here at Delta Senior School is like a life cycle of a butterfly. Let's meet my colleague Suhun, who is a horticulture trainer, who will explain more. There she is! Hello! Let me show you along the different section of the garden. Okay, sure. This section of the garden is the 8th stage. At year 1, students begin this interesting journey with little knowledge and skill but are ready to learn and absorb. The choice of plants used are mainly green and white and species include coaster, alocasia and ferns. Green represents the colours of springs and new beginnings. As for white, it's pure and ready to be filled with colours, just like how our students begin their journey here. So that's an interesting explanation. So what's next? Here we are in year 2, the caterpillar stage. At this stage, students are equipped with new skill and knowledge every day. They are like caterpillar, which are always hungry, gobbling up food and storing nutrients. The plants you can find here are mainly edibles or plants with health benefits, such as ilang ilang and kedongdong. Welcome to year 3, also known as our cocoon stage. Very often, we can see impressive developments of our students as they mature and strengthen themselves. The transformation takes place just like caterpillar in a cocoon, gradually preparing themselves to emerge as butterfly. Similar to how life is, a mixture of senses and experiences. You will find plants such as the stevia, chili plants, Sabah steak grass, and our mango tree that fill up all the different senses. In recent years, with MPARC's input, we have also enhanced our sensory garden to include other elements. We have seen added wind chimes, water features, and a common sitting area. Now, let me guess the final section. Is it the butterfly? You are right. We have a butterfly garden, where we plant butterfly attracting plants to bring life to the garden. Some of these plants include ratterweed, butterfly bush, and cross and rock. We use the garden to teach the importance of gardens and biodiversity. It also symbolizes the last stage of our students in their education journey before they spread out their wings and fly towards the world outside. Wow, what an amazing representation of the students' journey through a garden. Hmm, I noticed there are quite a number of plants all around the school. With so much greenery, how do you maintain it? 
actually most of the maintenance are done by our students. Why not hear from them? I learned how to water the plants using different watering techniques and I also learned other skills like weeding, pruning and replanting. I love to see my plants grow. I enjoy making plants by doing pruning and weeding. After school, I learn my new skills, taking care of the plants and the nursery and the hydroponic system. The students often visit the gardens to chill and hang out with their friends. It is also very therapeutic for students to come to the gardens whenever they feel stressed. We will also be rolling out therapeutic horticulture activities to our students soon. Oh, that's great to hear. In fact, NPARKS has also developed nine therapeutic gardens across Singapore. And there are plans to have 30 by 2030 as we transform into a city in nature. That's wonderful. Well, Janora, thanks so much for showing us around your garden today and sharing all these amazing stories with us. Thank you for coming by today. And before you go, here's a friendship plan for you. Oh, thank you so much. Well, it's been a pleasure to be here. And that's all from the APSN Delta Senior School. Till the next garden. Bye. Bye.